Today I want to show you the Ender 5 S1. This time the bed stands still, it just goes down along the z-axis. I'm super surprised for this cubic shape printer. Like we know it from Creality, everything is well packed. And here we got what I love most. So it's time to remove the foam. Okay, this is how it looks underneath. Here we got the extruder. This should be the sprite one. Looks a bit different to the Ender Pro. Some filament. Here we got on both sides some handles. This makes really easy. A lot of difference to the last one. Here's the print bed. Here we can see the print bed underneath. There's an isolation so that we will get a very homogeneous temperature all over our print plate. This is very important. And the handles like we know. Some frame parts. lower compartment, lower frame of the electronics. Everything was super nice packed. This time there are a lot of more parts into the box, but it's many parts are already pre-assembled. Here we got the upper frame with our nozzle and there's everything done. The belt and the motor are pre-assembled. This is the set axis. Let's do the assembly. First step is mounting the vertical bars. They all got numbers on it and so it's easy to see where and in which direction they has to be mounted on this lower frame. Next is installing the print bed on the z-axis. I'm using here the, the foam from the packaging. That makes it much more easy. Then the whole thing has to be turned around. And this again to the foam. And now some support has to be installed here. This, this side comes lower. That, that doesn't collide with the screws that are there. Like this. So next is installing the complete set axis with the printer into the printer. Then we have to rotate it. Now these plastic parts has to install here in the right angle. Here is left and right, always written, to stiffen up the whole cage. The printer is ready assembled. Here the bowden is clicked together with the cabling for our nozzle. And also here are three clips all together installed to make this nice and clean. On the other side we got two. And I think before you start your printer make sure that you can move the complete hot end on the maximum up to the maximum to see if this fits. If nothing is creased or tucked. So bring it in this, in this corner and then it should like this. Everything should be movable and also here don't make this clip too much on the upper area otherwise this could be tucked when the bed goes down and at last check your voltage this is on 230 for Europe and then we can plug it in so let's start leveling super easy we just press on the one then the ender centers and we use our test paper and with these two knobs we can adjust it that it is a bit squeezed between the nozzle and the print bed just a bit down yeah this feels good and then the second and this we can do with the knob and this 
already one benefit of this kind of printer. It's much more easy to, to reach all the knobs than we had to do it here. Here it's not, not that easy, but here it's super nice to reach. So it's much faster to set up the bed leveling. And let's take a look in Cura to the machine settings. Here we can see the accelerations again. This is 3500 to X and Y. So this printer can accelerate very fast. This is super important for our lightweight PLA. Also make sure that the gantry height is the same as the set height that you can print multiple parts one after the other and here we are in the lightweight PLA settings and I got 230 degree so a little bit less than normal for this printer and also 50% low 105% for the f for the first layer 30 millimeter per second print speed and 500 millimeter travel speed here are the 3500 millimeter per square second for the travel acceleration, so super fast. And the rest is the same as on my other printers. The Ender 5 prints the canopy for the new big area. I can absolutely recommend you this Ender 5 S1. It is caused by the robust construction. The acceleration is much faster compared to the Ender 3. And right beside is working the Ender Pro. This one is more accurate. So both has their qualities. Here we also have cooling from both sides. Here we just have the cooling from the front. I'm printing with lightweight PLA from Colafab on the Ender 5 with 230 degree and the bed is cooled down on 30 degree just to save energy. And for this I'm using the 3D lug. That's very important when you cool down your bed while printing. So the part still has a very good adhesion on the bed. And the part is finished. Just two hours. Quite fast. Looks really nice. With the Ender 5. Printing the inlet. One part is already done. Also in a very good quality. And here is the Ender, Ender S1 Pro, Ender 3 S1 Pro, does a good job as always, really nice little real courses. Super nice printing the Ender 5. The links for the Ender 5 and also for the Ender 3 Pro you find in the video descriptions. They are superb printers for our 3D printed jets and make a very nice surface and super lightweight parts.